Hi, my name is Caitlin Bussey, and I'm a fourth year biomedical engineer. Uh, my first co-op was at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine in North Carolina. It was um, a program, so all of us were just titled like Summer Scholars, and we like re involved with that was a poster and like a oral talk at the end of your ten weeks. The whole building is geared towards um, creating organs for transplantation from scratch. You have to start with your materials and you have to take a lot of things into consideration such as the functionality of the organ that you're trying to make and the biocompatibility of your materials. Uh, different materials that are usually used are polymers because they have the ability to move and bend with the body. You don't really want to have any sharp edges and they tend to be more biocompatible as well because you can control the interactions that the polymers will have with the body. After you get your scaffold, you have to cover it with cells and then test and optimize your results and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can transplant it into the body, into an actual human patient. One of my duties was daily maintenance of a cell culture line. Um, cell culture is a huge part of tissue engineering just because every process in your body is governed by different cellular interactions. So if you're going to replace an organ, it needs to mimic the type of physiological things that happen in your body. So different things like which cell type you're using and how they interact with the scaffold that you've made will impact how your organ is received by the body. So it was a very open lab and everyone was really excited about their work. I'm pretty sure that I only got picked for the co-op because I had taken immunology here as part of the required course load. That class was essential to me earning my first co-op. You're engineering organs, so it's a complete systems approach. Like You don't just focus on one area. You have to account for the fact that your organs need to have the stress and strain, they need to have the vascularization, they need to have so many things to be able to work inside the body. So I think that I also might have gotten hired also because I was a biomedical engineer.